Hello YouTubers, this is Cessna Ace. I received a couple of packages in the mail this morning. One containing a video game from someone in Australia and one containing a Laserdisc from someone in Hong Kong. Now I'll do the Laserdisc first. The actual Hong Kong release went ahead and opened it because there was a discrepancy between what the seller was telling me about the disc and what Laserdisc database had listed for the disc. Now, according to the Laserdisc database, the disc is bilingual with Mandarin and Cantonese language tracks and has in picture English subtitles. Well, according to the seller, no English subtitles, in fact, no subtitles at all. So I opened it up, I popped it into the player that I have in the living room, which is a Pioneer CLD D504, and it played perfectly, so I was good, uh, glad to see that, but uh, no subtitles, so the seller was correct. There is the uh, two language track options, or there are the two language track options, Mandarin and Cantonese. Now, you might be asking, well, why would you order a Laserdisc where you can't understand a language? Well, that has never stopped me before. But I also wanted this laser just because the movie features in the cast Moon Lee. And I love Moon Lee. Along with Michelle Yeoh, but she's not in this film. Now, the film is called The Inspector Wears Skirts 4. Although you can see there is a missing S. Least in Hong Kong by Star Entertainment. And the thing about Hong Kong laser discs, they were very expensive because it was a rental market. And if you tried to import them into the US, they were even more outrageously expensive. Now, someone once asked me how you can tell if a laser disc is bilingual or not. Yet we'll say. This is letterboxed. Aspect ratio isn't all that wide, 1.85 to 1. No defects with the disc. It plays perfectly on both sides. One thing I did notice that after the lengthy opening on side one, there are approximately 12 minutes of video trailers for various other Hong Kong films that Star Entertainment released on Laserdisc. Now, as for the video game, I got from somebody in Australia. This is helping to build my collection of Sega Master System games. In fact, I'm trying to have a complete set of all the releases worldwide for the Master System. Now, this game was only released in Europe and Brazil was not given a Japanese release, Australian release, American release, or anything else. Just Europe and Brazil. While most PAL standard Sega Master System games play perfectly on a North American Master System, this game is an exception according to every source I check on the internet. But I wanted to get it anyway because I want a complete collection. Now, this isn't particularly rare in Europe. Uh, I couldn't find any information about how uh, common it is in Brazil. But uh, that you'll find this in many collections here in North America. This was the first, no manual, this was the first James Bond game that is not based on a movie in the franchise. Wholly original. Although, from what I understand, Odd Job and Jaws are in it. And it's supposed to be a good game if you can play it. Now, it contains on the back a, uh, a description of the game in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight languages, which is common for European releases. This was released for the Master System by Domark. 
I think this game was also released on the Genesis slash Mega Drive uh, by Domark in Europe, and I think it might have been released by Tengen in the US, but I'm not totally sure. Anyway, another game going towards my complete Master System collection, and of course, another Laserdisc, but the first that I've ever gotten that was released in Hong Kong. I have more packages coming. I have an order uh, that's still uh, en route from Yes Asia. The order that I placed with them was so massive that they're shipping it in installments. And I received an email yesterday stating that they're sending out, or they had sent out a couple more after the last package that I showed. But that still isn't all of the order that I placed, so there's more coming. And I have a huge order coming from Funimation. So look forward to that. Until next time, stay awesome.